14th of October will be the final voting day in New Zealand for the national election. The Labour Party in the country is seeking a third term and the centre-right National Party is hoping to return to government with the help of coalition partners. Advanced voting was opened on October the 2nd. The National Party is reported to be popular in New Zealand with 68% voting ahead of the last election in 2020. The polls close at 7pm local time on Saturday. According to reports, the possibility of the National Party winning the largest proportion of votes is high. But polls indicate that it will need at least one minor party and maybe two to form a government. Voting in New Zealand elections is not compulsory, but participation by eligible voters is typically above 80%. Generally, the New Zealand Parliament consists of 72 geographical constituency seats. Then 48 seats are doled out to party-selected candidates called list members in proportion to the overall public votes for each party. A party needs 61 seats for a majority. The death of a constituency candidate will mean that there will be an extra list seat allocated. A by-election will be held on November 25th and from then, the total number of parliamentary seats will be 121. Under New Zealand's mixed member proportional system, it is uncommon for a single party to form a government. Although exceptionally, Labour Party did so under Jacinda Ardern in 2020. If there is no majority winner, the major parties will start negotiations after the election and can either form a coalition or supply and confidence agreements with minor parties. The party with the largest number of votes does not necessarily win and negotiations can take days or weeks. Under a coalition agreement, parties agree to be in government together.